Um, yeah, this video for Cuban World is going to be a clock walkthrough sort of tutorial. This puzzle is so simple, as you very well know. So, uh, yeah, starting off, I examine, I go, and this isn't the best scramble, so I'll just, on this side, so I'll just scramble it a bit more. I'll explain later why. Yeah, that's better. So, the first step is. Um, to solving a clock with the old, I think it's, yeah, it's the proper method, I think. I think that's what it is. You solve the cross. If, well, yeah, sort of, on one side. As you can see, there are nine faces. So, yeah, I guess it's a cross. Uh, the pegs won't all be up or down, they might be a mixture. So, yeah, um, I'll just examine, see which face is better. I think this face. I'll start the light blue one. So, when a peg's pushed up, all the clocks m around it move. But when it's pushed down, only the uh, corners move. That are pushed down. And... Yeah. So, um... What we're going to start with is look at this middle clock which is at 4 o'clock. This is, and change it to 11 o'clock to match this. Since those four clocks moved around, it, and that, none others did, so it matched that one. So, yeah, we're going to match all these pieces. Next, we push up the uh, pin where there are two clocks. They both spin, and let's turn them around to 5 o'clock, where this clock is. This also happened to be at 5 o'clock. This may or may not happen. But if it wasn't, normally you'd just go with the pin like normal. But when you, uh, like the last time, but if you have something like this, you have to use two pins. It is more efficient to have soles like this if uh, you're going to start out with one of the bottom left or right ones. Anyway, now we've moved this up to two o'clock to match these two. We push up these two pins, or just one. Uh, it's probably easier to push them up both. Um, just for next face, and you see that it's all done. Now we flip the clock, and now we look. The middle clock is saying two o'clock. The left clock is, I mean, the left clock is saying eleven o'clock. The right clock is saying nine o'clock. The bottom clock is saying. Uh, four, four o'clock, and the top clock is saying seven o'clock. So, um, yes, we'll just go to that one because it's an easier for speed. So we've matched it. Now they both say uh, eleven o'clock. Now we go down to five o'clock. No, four o'clock, and uh, now we have that. And as I said before, push this down, take it down to 6 o'clock because you have 3 and then move all of them. It doesn't affect this face, only the corners. Since uh, how I explained it turned earlier. So we push up this, so we move this clock. And now let's move them to 9 o'clock. And voila. Next, you to, in a beginner's method, you'd like put it all up to 12. But uh, it's more efficient to for in this case to do, push this peg up, leave this empty, because now we're going to solve the corners. This says 12 o'clock, so you take those up to 12 o'clock. Now what, you, and you've done that. Okay, now you've got that there, it's probably a good idea just to use this clock to spin them for the rest of the solve. Now we'll solve this corner. They will say 9 o'clock. We push this pin up, push this pin down, take it down to 6 o'clock. Push this pin up, push this pin down. Take it up to 2 o'clock, push this pin up, take it 12 o'clock, stop the timer, and you're done. You don't, and also you see this face is done uh, as well. Yeah. I, I'm not sure that works, but the reason that when you do this cross it doesn't stuff up this cross as I showed you earlier is because. Okay, uh, 
to stick that up. See the side of solver piece? That only affects the corner. Now one important, uh, I'll just do a solve here. Oops, and scramble. I don't like scrambling this. I'm not that good at clock, but the basic method is basic enough. I think there's tips and tricks. I'll just separate these clocks because Alright. Okay. Uh in official regulations you have to stand the clock up. Mine sits like that, but still. Because if you put it down like that, it can push up pegs. I mean, this particular clock hasn't got the click mechanism on the pegs like the Rubix one did. Anyway. You're allowed to place it flat. So yeah, that's just a solve. Don't always go for this, but I think it's way easier just to go for that the whole time for the uh, last step. So just reset the steps as I've shown. You solve the cross, you solve the other cross, then you solve the corners, and you're done. Uh, I'm yeah, and then I guess you just practice because practice makes you better, and there's not really anything that I know of that will help you get way faster, like more complicated methods, because there's not really algorithms on this thing. It's not like 3x3 three three where you, for example, I don't know, you solve the middle layer or whatever. You see like... Uh, you solve the corners with an algorithm because it's so simple it's intuitive like a bit like uh, Mega Minx's last step for example you see something like that on Mega Minx it's similar you just go use your Thing. Knowledge. Yeah. Um, this concludes.